Hello everyone, welcome to J4 TV podcast. And today we are going to discuss about uh, supplement for athlete. So, uh, today I invited my one of my best friend. His name Gofri Liang. Welcome Gofri Liang. So, Gofri, can you introduce yourself to everybody? Good evening everyone. Thank you very much for to Mr. James here to invite me to his uh, podcast over here as well as to be able to speak to you all about supplements for athletes. Okay, so Gofi, um, I, uh, you know why I come up with this question? Like, because I think a lot of parents, like, they're confused about when uh, their son or their kids need to take supplements during their uh, secondary school time or primary time. Sometimes they just uh, simply believe uh, other other friends uh, tell them to, to let their kids to take supplements, uh, which is very dangerous also because of the supplement is not, some of the supplement is not bad. How to say, it's like not safe to eat. It's not good for kids. So, uh, so today I'm going to ask, help some of the parents to ask, ask this, this type of question. So uh, the first question for today will be what are the supplements should athlete take? All right. Good evening, everyone. I'm sorry to I didn't introduce myself. My name is Scott Free here. I am the owner as well as a pharmacist for Family Pharmacy in Miri. I've been a pharmacist for a good almost 20 years now. And I've, I practice in UK as well as in Malaysia. Now, James, you're talking about what supplements that athletes should take. Now, we have to take into consideration of what type of sports you're doing as well. That is very important. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, athletes, as we speak, we always need to have a lot of vitamin Bs. Now, vitamin Bs can be divided into a lot of different parts. You have the vitamin B1, B2, B6, B12. All these are very, very important. But the most particularly one that we are looking at is the B12. Now, you always have heard about people taking vitamin B12. And why do athletes actually need vitamin B12? It's for the conversion of energy in our body. It's also to improve our reflexes as well, because B12 is very much connected to our nerve systems. And that improves our reflexes. Now, how about B6? When we take B complex, we have B6 as well. And B6 is very important as it's one of the close components to be able to help us to build up our proteins in our body. It breaks down the protein in our body. It helps with our glucose metabolisms. So generally, it's something that actually when people say take B-complex to lose weight, that's what it is. It gives out energy. Right? It unlocks the energy in our muscles. The second thing that we're looking at most definitely is the iron level. And that is why we're talking about, we always ask, people to take more vegetables for athletes because that's what we're trying to get from the vegetables, iron. And of course, iron is, as everybody would know, it's very important for the synthesis of our blood. And that's what carrying oxygen to all over our body. And of course, to our muscles as well. Now, we know that if we don't take enough irons, what would happen is that Every time when we're doing sports, especially competitive sports that requires a lot of cardio, we lose a lot of iron from our sweat, from our skin, when we pass urine, even when we breathe, we, we lose a lot of iron in our body. That's why we need to continually replenish our iron to keep our iron supplement high enough for us to be able to function with the maximum efficiency. The third thing that we are looking at is calcium. Now, everybody would smile when we talk about calcium because we think of milk as well as all the dairy products because those are very important. Athletes need to have good bones, good joints because without those, I'm very sure that no athletes will be able to function properly. And when we're looking at other things, there's also things like fish oils. Now, fish oils that actually has a good amount of EPA and DHA and why we see a lot of athletes, pro athletes are doing a lot of taking a lot of these fish oils Essentially, essentially, it's because it's to improve the muscle flexibility. If you try to find, figure out why does a lot of 
very hardcore athletes who need to take a lot of fish oil or has been recommended a lot of fish oil is because it can actually help to reduce your muscle aches. If every time after we have an exercises, every time we have a very strenuous exercise or workouts, we tend to feel that strains in our muscles. That's where fish oil comes in. There is a term that is actually called the delayed onset muscle soreness, short for DOMS. And that is what it's actually do is it's actually our muscles feeling pain and all this soreness from, let's say we say last night's workout or the workout that we've done two hours ago. And it's because of the decrease in the oxygen level in our muscles that's causing this problem. And fish oils actually helps you to reduce this important aspects of sports because that's the thing that actually makes us feel fatigued, tired, loss of stamina. It also helps us to reduce this thing called the resting time and to be able to regulate your heartbeat better and especially for joints as well. It helps you to keep the joints smooth. As fish oils does, it's an oil. It will smoothen the joints very much. And especially for boys, taking fish oils does actually helps you to improve your testosterone as well. And everybody likes that. <laughs> now, finally, then we also have the things like that we have to have things like probiotics that actually helps you with your gut so that you'll be able to pass your motion better, your stomach is actually will feel better. That is actually important for athletes. And of course, finally, then we have things like amino acids and proteins. You need that for muscle buildings. I see, I see. So I think uh, basically you answer my my second question as well. So uh, we move to third question. At what age should athlete take a supplement and what, what is the amount? should like some suitable for them where well, we're going to start off with um, when we talk about age of course then we will be including children as well isn't it we're talking about any children who are able to start playing sports at a younger age all the way through to adults whom we're talking yeah. about age of 18 and above now for children they should be getting the right kind of diet for their daily needs but what's more important for them is actually to have more of these things called probiotics. Children essentially will need, are like sponges for nutrition. So they take a lot of nutrition from the food that they take daily. But with the proper gut, you need to have a proper stomach, you need to have the proper intestines to be health to be able to absorb as much nutrition out of this possible. And that is where probiotics comes in because you'll be able to function fully without having more stomach aches problem, to have less allergy to foods, and you be able to eat better right for younger age we need to talk about being able to eat better be able to have consume better amount of calories in our body to continue to grow and secondly calciums i can't stress enough calciums in children or even in adults as well for children calciums is essential to build the bones because as they're growing it's going to be growing pain as well a lot of growing pain is going to in, in increase in as they age, as they go through getting taller, stronger, bigger. And that's where the growing pain, they're going to start feeling pain in their legs. So children shouldn't feel scared when they have pain in their legs because that is actually meaning that you're growing, you're getting taller. And the third thing, of course, finally, is proteins. But when we talk about protein, it'll be more of things, instead of taking protein tablets, they should be taking more on things like protein drinks as a supplement to their daily diet to be able to give them the maximum muscles and of course a lot of these protein drinks will contain a lot of these fish oils omega-3s to help them with their muscles as well now for and when we talk about this age this should be essentially what they should be important for those who are age 15 and below now when we reach age between 15 all the way through to 18 and adulthood body are, the body is pretty much fully developed by that time whether it's for male or female. Of course, male will continue to grow all the way up to the age of 21 and female will do that as well, but perhaps the growth will be a bit less. And that's where all the other supplements for other than more adult ones that should come in. So that's where the definite part will be with age 15 and below and 15 and above. That's where the very big difference will be. All right, all right, I see, I see. I never know this much, man. <laughs> because before this, my mom, my mom, my parents is like, uh, you should drink this uh, because everyone says it's good for it's good for you, it's good for athlete, or it's good for someone who always plays sport. So I, I feel like 
I don't have enough uh, knowledge to know it's right or not. So I just take it because my mom asked me to do. So <laughs> yeah, I think now uh, all the parents should know what to do after this. So uh, we move to the number question number four. So are the supplement necessary for all the athletes? Uh, like in my case, like sometimes I feels like uh, uh, I don't need I don't need any supplements because I feel fine. And then I feels like uh, I'm okay, uh, doing well also without supplement. So, uh, so uh, are this really necessary for athletic? Supplements are very, very subjective. As I said, it depends a lot on the type of sports that you're doing. It also depends a lot, of course, with your diet habit as well. What do you eat at home? What do you normally have? Are you a vegetarian or are you more partial to meat? Those things will play a very important part because supplements, as its name suggests, it is to build in, to fill in the blanks of all those things that you missed out in your daily diet. Now, the other supplements that we do not talk about filling in daily diets will be things like probiotics because unfortunately, we do not actually take any other food that actually has natural probiotics in there, unless if you're taking a lot of yogurt. Now, should they be necessary? They should be very, very necessary. For those athletes who like to excel, to be able to be compared to those top tier athletes, you need to have the right kind of supplements to help you to be able to break that top 10%, the potential that you can't break through because those are the difference that you'll be able to, where the muscle soreness comes in, where your stamina will be able to hold up against the others because that's what separates, right? I mean, as a coach, you will know that that is where it separates. We always talk about the last, the top 10% of the athletes and that's where it's important because these supplements will help them of course the trainings will be able to do the best and to be able to maximize their training that's true that's true that's very true so okay so uh we have one more question which is last one since you mentioned just now if uh, we have a healthy diet so um do you do you do you recommend still taking supplements or like if they have like healthy diet uh, there, there is not necessary for them to take anymore healthy diet consists of a lot of aspects which means that healthy diet means that you're covering every single base in the diets so we're talking about being able to fill in the blanks like i said before if let's say that i am very partial i don't take a lot of fish which means that i'm losing out a lot on, on omega sites and if i were to continue on that diet yes i will be fine but if I were to do strenuous activity, I will be losing out on where the benefits of this fish oil will be for the body. And if I don't take fish, then I will need to supplement it. That is what it means by supplement. And that is why I take fish oils because I don't take a lot of fish. That's an example. Now, the other type of healthy diet we're talking about will be people like vegetarians. How about vegetarians? Vegetarians lose out on a lot of other things, which is why they need to supplement a lot of other food or other kind of supp other kind of a supplementary vitamins to be able to help them fill in the spots to cover the bases. So what are the vegetarians uh, missing? Vegetarians do miss out on certain key amino acids which are available generally from meat that are used to build muscles. However, that does not mean that they can't get the same type of nutrient from vegetables. They just need to pick and choose and to take a good enough quantity to be able to supplement that. And that is why we do recommend vegetarians to take amino acids, BCAAs, to be able to help them supplement these missing links. And with a healthy diet, if you have a lot of five servings, as I know the magical five servings of food, you have the fruits, you have the dairies, you have the eggs, you have the carbohydrates, as well as the vegetables, you will be able to cover a lot of bases. But remember that the supplement is the thing where it gives you the extra boost to give you the extra top 10%, the extra breakthrough into your daily routine so that when you perform in a competitive sport, so that when you want to build that extras, that's where it comes in. Mm, true, true. That's true. Because in sport, we even if we can improve 1%, which uh, is already, it's like, it's like a very big achievement for us already. So I think today, uh, uh, Mr. Goffrey give us a lot of like knowledge and a lot of things that uh, that parents should consider about. I'm I'm gonna conclude my my opinion. If you still don't know what kind of supplement uh, you should let your 
kids to take. Yeah, I, I think you should go for someone who are expert like the Gofi here, so he can advise you because he know the best and also he is the expert in this field. So I think uh, you, you you guys should go for someone who are professionals to know about all these things, not not someone just based on their experience because everybody is different, right? We can say like this, right, Mister Gofi? So it's like. So it's, it's, it's not 100% works on your kids or on yourself. Okay, so thank you very much, Gofi, for your sharing today. All right, the podcast today is going to end here. So I hope everyone or the audience can, can solve all your questions through this podcast. Thank you. See you next time. Bye-bye.